business with Yuko Fukushima. So Yuko, we just heard we have a firm date set for high-level talks between Japan and South Korea. But does this mean we're seeing some progress in relations between these two countries? Well, that remains to be seen. Some comments uh, coming out from uh, officials suggest that uh, two sides want to talk about different issues at the talks. Even so, it presents an opportunity for Japan and South Korea to do some much-needed fence mending. Senior trade officials will meet in Tokyo on December 16th. There are the first talks at this level in more than three years. Huawei is appealing a U.S. government decision to label the firm a security risk and bar it from a subsidy program. The Chinese tech giant has gone to court to challenge the move, which effectively stops U.S. rural carriers from using its product. Staying with telecoms and telecom security, Japanese officials are working on a new rule for foreign operators of Internet services. The change will require them to report crashes on their servers in or outside Japan. Transport infra infrastructure needs protecting, too. A typhoon flooded a Shinkansen depot in October, leaving damaged trains that had to be scrapped. Well, now the government wants the companies in the Japan Railways Group to make sure that doesn't happen again. And now to the markets in Tokyo. The Nikkei gained seven-tenths of a percent on news. The cabinet is about to decide on a stimulus package. Investors jumped on stocks related to basic materials like cement and steel. The government plans to use a chunk of the funds to build infrastructure. Over in China, the Shanghai Composite also rose here by three-quarters of a percent. U.S. media reported President Trump saying negotiations with China on the trade deal were going very well. Now, this was a day after the president said the deal could be concluded after the elections. And to the big picture, most indexes in the region returned to black. It seems those reports on the trade deal offered traders some relief. So the Carta composite rose uh, six tenths of a percent, uh, led by consumer stocks. November consumer confidence was better than expected. And that's the biz for this Thursday.